Hello Logic Language Learners. So in today's vocab video we're going to be talking about things to do with health and uh, sport more specifically. Health is a big area. We started it with being unwell uh, with yesterday's video. So today is going to be about gym and exercise and weight and this kind of thing. So more topics when we talk about ourselves. Can I, as per normal, remind you, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe, because it obviously motivates me to keep the videos free for you. Uh, can you also remember that those of you who are on Facebook, you can add me, uh, you can join my page on Facebook, which is Logic Language Learning, all attached, uh, and you can message me directly on that if you have any questions. So, I mean, you're welcome to leave a comment underneath, but it will be public. Okay, so, our first word, uh, is basically, um, I just think it's quite useful to remember that when new words enter the French language from other languages, more often than not they're masculine. So this is a pretty obvious word of how we're saying this, but I just think it's good to remember that. So if our first word is uh, sport, which is sport, okay, le sport, notice we're not pronouncing the T as per normal because we don't have an E at the end. Okay, so faire du sport is to do some sport, to do sport. Um, to be sporty, bonus word, is sportif or feminine, sportive. Now, a lot of these I-V-E words confuse people because you've heard up until now, oh, well, masculine is soft and feminine is hard. But there are obviously a group of uh, adjectives, but this isn't the case. And we have the female... In English, so if you think of the words that we have in English, so passive, active, yeah, naive, uh, these all end in the I-V-E, which is the feminine form. So I am sporty, je suis sportif, she is sporty, elle est sportive. My friend Ginny is sporty, mon ami Ginny, elle est très sportive. Okay? She likes to do sport, elle aime bien faire du sport, some sport. Okay? So that's our first word, word okay? Our next word is um, the gym itself. Okay, now this causes endless problems because gym just seems such a quick word. And especially with the French community in London, I keep hearing people saying, you know, je vais aller au gym. Or British people trying to say it, but it's not the correct way of saying it. The two words that we have for gym, okay, are either la salle de sport, so that the... the the room, the hall, if you will, of, of sport, la salle de sport. Obviously, we have leisure centre, which is centre de loisir, which is going to be one of our words, okay, centre de loisir. Or we have la gymnase. So, of those three, le centre de loisir, la salle de sport, la gymnase, the main two we use for exercise are feminine. So it's never going to be au gym, it's going to be à la salle de sport or à la gymnase, okay? So when we say, oh, what did you do earlier? I went to the gym. In French, we would say, I did some sport, j'ai fait du sport. Now, even if you're on a cross trainer or on a, you know, you're, you're on any kind of aerobic uh, device, like a um, tapis, tapis roulant, how do we say this in... Um, in English, uh, the carpet that moves, what do we call it? The, the um, It'll come to me in a moment. I can't believe I'm being so thick. So the point is, if you're doing any, um, uh, the treadmill, the treadmill, if you're doing anything like that at all, then it feels weird to say, oh, I've done some sport, because sport for us sounds like team games or competitive, but that's what we'd say in French. So, j'ai fait du sport. Okay, il est sportif. Okay. So my next word would be obviously la salle de sport, uh, gymnase, great, okay? Now the word there that's going to be my word as well is the word for hobby, yeah? So your hobbies could be physical or more mental, cerebral. So loisir, loisir is pastimes, hobbies, okay? Il a beaucoup de loisir, okay? So my phrase would be, uh, Quand je ne travaille pas, j'ai beaucoup de loisirs qui m'amusent. When I'm not working, I've got lots of hobbies which amuse me, qui m'amuse, okay? Good, my next word or words is to do with weight. I'm going to pop the light on. 
Whoa, bit bright, but there we go. Um, I'm getting a lot of flashback at the moment um, with the light. I don't know why something's happened to the screen, so I hope you can still see me. So, um, the word for weight, okay, is poids. Okay, P-O-I-D-S, le poids. Okay, now, the problem with this word, well, no, this, so this word is the word that you would use for bodily weight. But we also use a verb, and the verb is peser. Okay, so I'm going to put both of those down there. So peser is one of those verbs where you would change the pronunciation if you use it in the shorter form. So, for example, we had this already with um, levé, je me lève, pesé, je pèse, I weigh. And we obviously would add the accent there. Now, you can predict these verbs because if you took pesé and you then went to the short form, pes, this uh sound, even though ironically we were doing a lot of work with the uh in the vel on the slang, isn't really that popular in, in proper French. So, pesé, je pèse. Yeah, je pèse. So, how much do you weigh? Uh, je, tu pèses combien? What is your weight? Quel est ton poids? Okay. Overweight, to be surpoids. You know, overweight, okay. Weights that you lift in the gym, les poids. Okay. So, to lose weight would be perdre du poids or gagner du poids. So, every Christmas I gain weight. It's logical. Yeah, I eat a lot. Donc, chaque Noël... Uh, je prends du poids, I take weight, or je gagne du poids, or j'ai oh, pris du poids, I, taken, I, I, took, I gained weight, I gained weight, okay, prendre du poids, okay, so je vais commencer à aller à la gymnase, I'm going to start to go to the gym, je vais commencer à aller à la gymnase pour perdre du poids, to lose some weight, pour perdre du poids, okay, lovely, my next word is, so we've had poids, we've had pesé, my next word was going to be, yes, some physical stuff when we're in the gym, okay? So, to lift is soulever, soulever, okay? S-O-U-L-E-V-E-R, soulever. And I wanted to stress this one because everybody learning French learns lever. When you learn the, the, the reflexive verbs, I imagine you all learn lever very, very quickly. Je me lève, tu te lèves, je me lève. Demain matin, je, je, vais, me le, uh, je vais me lever. Uh, je me suis levé hier. But to lift something else up is not levé particularly, it would be soulevé. Yeah? So that's just a nice one to have. So soulevé les poids, to lift up weights, okay? Now, we have two different types of words in French for um, weight training, okay? So we have faire de la musculation, 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 I don't need to spell it for you, musculation, and that is when you want to try and get bigger, okay, when you want to try and put on protein and be larger, okay, um, if you do cardio, le cardio, je fais du cardio, it's the same word, okay, we'll put these down, so musculation, cardio, okay, we have two words in French fitness which I find hilarious that we use uh, three words actually that we use from um, um, in English. So we have uh, le corps de fitness. We would say fitness, which would be like now the word for well-being in French is bien-être, as well. You know, well-being, bien-être. 